I'm Scott Yeager, president of Industrial Music Electronics, formerly known as the Harvestman Digital Audio Electronics, here at NAMM 2016 with Ed from Sonic State. So we're going to see the uh, Stilson Hammer, which is your new four-track performance sequencer, right? Yes. Stilson Hammer Mark II is a four-track sequencer, max 16 steps per sequence. It has four tracks, and you use the bank of 16 sliders to freely assign parameters between them. The sliders have very fast travel with LED illumination, so though the context of the sliders changes with each parameter page selection, it's not very hard to get lost because feedback is given on the display of the numerical value of your selection. Or if you like, on a quantized voltage, the note value or on an unquantized voltage, the actual voltage coming out of the output. It has four CV gate outs. The CV outputs are calibrated one volt per octave. Each track also has a clock divider, which can divide from uh, one to 32 steps, I mean clocks events. The step length of the sequence can also be set from two to 16 steps. Now I'm going to play a short sequence and we'll modify a little long way by muting and unmuting tracks as well as using the assignable CV controllers to modify things like the burst generation of the gates giving a drum roll effect or shifting the melodic elements of the sequence within scale. This sequence has a bass and a snare drum module graciously provided by my friend Noise Engineering as well as an analog bass voice from the Polyvox modules, the Iron Curtain Electronics that my company offers. And the uh, the periodic uh, stabs that you hear are the, the wavetable from the, the Piston Honda Mark II. Changing the assignable CVs, as you can see, I have them set to many different parameters per track, such as the step delay. First, let's listen to the drums here. Let's play the delay on the, the bass drum track. As you can hear, you can make it very nice and even by adjusting the, the onset of the gate event within the step time. And if you don't want to move all the sliders to clear it, you can use the initialize key. Hold it. Randomize as well. Bring back the melody. Now we hear it without the drums, now that we've initialized them. Each track can have a quantizer scale assigned to it. You access this page by double-clicking the track button. The first number is the length in steps. You can vary that from 16 steps to uh, 2. The next is the scale root. You can start unquantized. 12 tone equal tempered, starting at C, C sharp, going all the way up to B. The last parameter in this page is the scale type. You can go from major, minor, Dorian, Lydian, Phrygian, and so on, up to roots and fifths, minor, major and minor triads, add six, add seven, and so on. So let's just start pressing the random key to randomize all tracks of the sequence. All the data on all the tracks is random. Between that and the, the assignable CV controllers, you don't even need to uh, touch the sliders to generate a sequence if you don't want to. Now we can reload from memory and we're back to normal. 
There are some conveniences for editing a sequence here. We'll, we'll view these on the uh, the bass synthesizer track, take it a couple, up a couple octaves so I can hear it here on the show floor. Set clock divider to one. Get, get that glide out of there. Now we're viewing the gates. To edit the gates, you move the slider up or down, and the LEDs will illuminate to show that the, uh, the gate is active. The gate length is adjusted by varying the amount of the slider. If it goes higher, as you can hear, it has a longer gate length. If it's all the way up, it will tie to the next step without the, uh, the gate re-triggering. But what if you don't want to edit all 16 sliders at once? You can hold down the shift and the encoder hotkeys and move the, move the slider and it will edit all 16 sliders at once. And if you keep doing it, you can adjust the gate length it back down to be very short. So get a couple of those out of there. That works on all pages as well. Let's see, we're still in the D Dorian scale here. Edit the CV to give us a nice sequence that bounces around. Now, a word about the voltage ranges of this device. The range keys are color coded to show the, uh, the voltage range of each track CV output. You can go from zero to eight volts on one slider travel. The orange mode here is the uh, zero to five volts, which is optimized for the CV inputs on industrial music electronics modules, which prefer a positive going zero to five range. Then the remainder of the ranges are two octave ranges, so you can dial in very precise voltages or note values on the slider. This is zero to two volts, now one to three volts, two to four volts, and so on, all the way up to eight volts. Now, what if you want some glide in there? Hit the slide key. Now the sliders will adjust where in the pattern the, the pattern will glide. And pushing up higher gives you a longer glide time. Let me open the VCA so you can hear the length of the slide times follow the uh, internal tempo. So um, how many, how many uh, presets can you save? 32 presets. Those can be accessed by either pressing the load or the save keys and using the rotary encoder to select the, the, the slot that you'd like to load or save into. Or you can hold down the encoder hotkey and uh, use the range back and forth keys to load them on the fly. The, the loaded preset will not switch until track one reaches the end of its travel. So can you do um, pattern chaining as well? No, but there's an expander planned in the future that will allow more elaborate uh, designation of sequences. Now, one additional convenience while you're programming CVs, slides, bursts, or whatever, you can uh, hold down the encoder hotkey and it will illuminate the steps that have active gates on them. And the last feature I'd like to show you is the, uh, the burst. The burst generator is a feature from the Mark I Stilson Hammer. So let's set ourselves a bass drum pattern. Let's say on step 13, we like to have a burst. So on 13, we can hit the count key to set the burst. Let's say we want seven gate events to come out of 13, so we can use the display to set that precisely. We must also set a speed value for it. Let's give it a nice short one for a drilling effect. It prefers a nice short gate as well. vary the speed.
But what if you don't want that roll to happen all the time? First, let's turn off that burst. And we'll assign it to the external CV instead. So when I turn the assignable knob, it will increase the burst count up to the maximum of seven steps. And, and that can be addressed with a CV input, right? Yes, it's the knob and the CV input. And that, that could, the maximum parameters that can be modulated by the CV is a, the CV track, the CV page, the gate page, the slide, and the delay of the onset of the gate, and the, the two pages for the burst parameters, the speed and the event count. It also responds very well to external clock with the same uh, tempo-dependent timings of uh, the slew and the uh, gate delay. There's also an addressing mode for going back and forth. I'll turn that on right now, the pendulum mode. As you can see, the sequence runs backwards and forwards now. And as a bonus, there's also a, a random addressing mode. So, um, it's, is it available now? What's that? Is it, is it available right now? The, the hardware is uh, on its way to finish manufacture very soon. I have maybe one or two days left to program. I've been using the NAMM show experience to uh, have other users play with the machine and test it, finding a couple small bugs that need to be squashed, but I'd say we're very close, middle of February shipping. Because I, I noticed um, from, a user, from user comments, you, you added the uh, clock divider per track. Oh yeah, so I did that on the drive down to NAMM. As a, quick feature edition that's not even five days old now. Excellent. So uh, what what will be the price on that? 666 US dollars. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for talking to us, Scott. Thank you, Ed. Award-winning customer service. Fast, free shipping on most orders. Own the gear of your dreams today.